Leader of Opposition Business, Senator Henry. Thank you, Madam President. Good morning, Senators. Madam President, just before I add my brief remarks to this bill, permit me to add my voice to yours in recognizing the, the very well performance of our special Olympians, and who returned to St. Lucia and did, came back with some medals. Also, Madam President, I wish to also recognize um, or add my voice and express sympathies to um, Honorable Dominic Fede. He's lost his family. And also, Madam President, the, the young man in Denry who passed um, in this suicide, as it's alleged, you know, his family, I wish to express uh, my deep sympathies. And, um, and in this, for you, Madam President, you know, I think in the past, past two months, Madam President, I visited, I visited a pre previously a family where a son committed suicide, and I've heard this other one, and through these chambers, Madam President, through you, I really want to send my deepest sympathies um, as a parent. I'm sure it's difficult time for persons who would leave to know that their children have passed in this sort of way. The most I can say through these chambers, Madam President, is that we need to judge not and love more. That's what I would like to send to St. Lucians. Madam President, this um, piece of legislation, as it relates to the CIP, my only concern, even before any amendments or the, the inception of the CIP, what has been troubling my own perspective on citizenship as a St. Lucian is to what extent that it is aligned with our constitution because when I became a parliamentarian, I, I should have gone through the entire constitution, but I read this, this section dealing with becoming a citizen of St. Lucia after 1979, and there are some interesting rules that, that especially um, from one generation to the next, or if you're born overseas, I am concerned, Madam President, that as we make changes to the CIP, as we go about selling or, or selling citizenship, so to speak, that persons who are becoming citizens through that means do not have an advantage over persons who are citizens through the normal way as stipulated in the Constitution. I think in listening to the brief presentation in the lower house, Madam President, I thought a point was trying to be made along those lines, that if my, if I, what, if, while you, somebody studying overseas had a child <laughs> overseas, <laughs> you've been facetious, sir. You're having a good laugh. And um, that child, that child would have a second child or my grandchild. That child would have to wait seven years to become a citizen of St. Lucia. And in this case here, I'm here in five years. So one, this is one of the concerns that I have. To what extent that it's not more advantageous to become a citizen of St. Lucia through the citizenship I investment. The other point, Madam President, the final point um, that I need to share with, with this House, Madam President, and um, I hope you allow me to say it. Um, it, it may not be directly to citizenship, but it has to do with identification of persons when you are a citizen of St. Lucia. And it had to do, Madam President, with the Puente program in Chile, where identification of Chileans was was a main pillar of support to poor people 
because of the geographical spread of Chile, you find that there are a number of persons, while they were citizens, they were, they were not identified. So they were, there was a pill of support on the social program to make them part of the system. And I keep reflecting that, Madam President, we had a short survey in St. Lucia, in the poorest communities of St. Lucia, under our own 20 program, which we call Kudme Setlisi, after the Chileans. And the result, which is tabled in a document prepared by UNICEF, there were poor people who indicated when they said, what is it would, you would like to get out of poverty? They said, the passport. In the survey, persons indicated, I would like my passport. And the um, UNICEF found it rather interesting that in this part of the world, some poor people were literally asking, please don't give me money, give me my passport, and I will get out of poverty. I, I'm saying this, Madam President, for us as a government to recognize, as we do citizenship by investment, how we look at the rights of our own citizens, those persons who need to pay $63 to enter their name on their birth certificate, because it's not on their birth certificate, but it's on their baptismal certificate, those persons who can be arrested but cannot vote because they do not have an ID card for one reason or the other, you know, just the whole issue of how we align citizenship by investment and put our people forward in, and, and give them priority and recognizing their rights as citizens. I just want, I just think we need to just oppose this as we go about selling citizenship. That is my contribution. Thank you, Madam President.